and what two of Hollywood's most illustrious institutions are partnering to present a weekend of screenings of some of the best Nollywood films in an event billed as the inaugural Nollywood in Hollywood. The event scheduled for March 23rd and 24th uh, will be at the School of Cinematics, uh, Cinematics rather, Arts University of uh, Southern California, Los Angeles and Hollywood's uh, most prestigious screening venue, the Egyptian Theatre. Uh, many of the events will also be live cast to audiences in Nigeria and around the world. Steve Gukas, director of 93 Days, one of the selected films, expressed his happiness not only for 93 Days but for Nollywood as the whole, uh, saying that um, Nollywood will be used to uh, this opportunity to showcase itself and attract the needed support and partnership necessary for its continued growth. Award-winning director Steve Gokas joins me now on um, Newsnight. Uh, Steve, uh, good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? N now, I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, looking at the optics of it, what do you think uh, this uh, will definitely uh, give to Nollywood in terms of you know, showcasing some of our films um, in one of the most um, you know, prestigious um, centers around the world? Well, I, I know that the, the, the choice of films that have been you know, selected to go to this screening uh, took quite a long route in the sense that the, they were looking for films of a specific quality and of a specific um, um, approach. And three films were selected you know, for, this, for this reason. Now, for me, what it means is that Nollywood gets to put its best foot forward to show what it's capable of doing both in terms of work in front of the camera and work behind the camera. And I think that the films selected would do justice and, and, and re represent Hollywood very well in this instance. So in moving forward, wh what are some of the challenges um, Nollywood filmmakers like you are face? Well, I think that the, the challenges are, are largely what most uh, practitioners will face in, in industries around the world, which is that of funding the ability to raise the kind of funding required to do the kind of projects that we want to do. Um, that's, that's where the issues are. And um, the, the hope, therefore, is that you expose yourself and you go into partnerships that allow you to get that kind of funding, to be able to tell stories on a larger canvas and to tell it you know, in, a, in a more um, detailed way that is at par internationally with any film production anywhere in the world rather than doing something that you say, well, it's okay because it's Nigerian. That's, that's not the anticipation here. And also there have been a lot of questions on the quality of movies that would churn out to the world. Though, well, it's a claim that we are about the second largest um, film producers or the third in the world. But what can we do about the quality? Because I think that's the, the major question now. Well, it's, it's, it's a question, and it's, it's germane. But I'd say that I think that, happily, that challenge is being surmounted in the sense that Nollywood, you could very easily break into three categories at the moment. So you have the, the, um, the, 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 the very top you know, rung of that, that ladder, where you have films like 93 Days, 76, uh, and um, you know, um, Wedding Party you know, occupying that one, one stage. And then you have the middle level where you have other films that are, you know, going to the cinemas, what largely just meant for the Nigerian audience and slightly, you know, wider than that. The first um, rung of films are the films that are traveling well internationally. And then you have the lower rung of films that are made straight to video, the usual, you know, how Nollywood started in the first instance. So I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, in terms of, of quality and technical quality, so to speak, um, the production space has been highly liberalized. Mm. And because of that, you could do a lot of good quality work. Um, where, where I think work still needs to be done is actually not so much in the technicals, but rather in the artistic. Uh, and that's also a function of how much money you have, because how much time you dedicate to finessing something that's costing you money every second you're doing that is, is, is a factor in consideration. Well, I would like to take you to the Oscars because uh, I believe that uh, is of greater interest to you as a filmmaker. Uh, one of the um, outsiders they call then, Jordan Peele, mm -hmm. you know, won an award fantastic uh, for Get Out, yeah. a movie that 
you know, has generated a lot of conversations around the world. Mm. But that movie is a low budget movie. Can't we look at it that, well, money is not everything in filmmaking. Oh, but whose standard <laughs> are you judging this by? <laughs> because Jordan Peele's movie is a four million, four million dollar movie. Four million dollars translates to a high, high, high end film in Nigeria. So yes, that's sort of the space you want to be playing at. You know, two million, three million, four million dollars, five million dollars kind of films. But we still do not have the infrastructure to recoup that kind of investment. Um, Jordan Peele's movie made back its money in America, which is its primary market. You cannot today, as the structures are, make back four million dollars in the Nigerian space alone because we do not have enough theaters. So that level of infrastructure needs to also be looked at uh, because we need more theaters and the more theaters you have, the more numbers you can make. Um, the highest grossing film in Nigeria to date is The Wedding Party, which is looking at 500 and something million Naira. Uh, in the box office, local box office. But that's done off of 32 screens. Imagine then that we had 150, 250, 350 screens when Wedding Party came out. Mm. That movie be looking at billions in intake. And therefore, it is when that kind of infrastructure exists that you can begin to say, look, I can budget $4 million, I can budget $5 million and still make the money back. So really, it's not so much so that the money is not there, but that the numbers to convince investors to put that kind of money down are not quite right at the moment because of, you know, a restraint in infrastructure. Thank you very much, Steve Gokas. Glad to be here. A veteran filmmaker and a director.